Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is onion rings. I'm going to make me some onion rings tonight, and I'm not going to make a lot of them. I'm just going to make a few. I like using the white onions. I always get the onions sort of big like that, so a medium side like that. It makes the perfect onion rings. And what you're going to do is cut them in uh, circles. So what you do is cut about maybe that thick around. About, a, about an inch. So about like that. Let's cut them like that so you can get them kind of even. Like that. Okay, just push that out. And it depends on how big you want them, how thick you want them. I like mine's a little thick. Well, I also then broke that one. And make them in circles. Just like this. In circles. Just like that. You're going to have some big ones and have some little ones. I didn't mean to break them like that, y'all. But it don't matter. They're just going to be good and tender and delicious. So I messed this one up. That's okay. We're going to push them to the side. I did something good this while ago, but you know, when you get on camera, everything want to turn out wrong. So I'm going to cut them like that. Like that. And then push the bottom out, and it's supposed to be like circles. See that? There you go. There you go. Now, I always try to do the right things, and I do. So there you go, your onion rings right there. So what we're going to do is uh, mix the mix. So this is self rising flour. I love self using self rising flour. You know I love using self rising flour when I fry things. Self rising flour has a tendency to make the food puff up. So what I'm gonna do, add to this, I'm gonna add some fish fry to it. Yes, some fish fry. This is the Louisiana fish fry that I showed y'all one day. I'm gonna add about maybe two teaspoons full of Louisiana. fish fry mix and stir it all up in there with the flour just like that and then we're going to put some cayenne pepper and if you like it hot put it hot we don't make it mild and I like black pepper in mine a little taste for black pepper and we don't need to put any salt in here because the salt is already in the uh, fish fry and it's already in the self rotten flour. So we're going to blend all this together and we're going to add buttermilk. Add the buttermilk just like that and we're going to want a kind of a thick paste like just like this. We'll stir this up like this. <sighs> oh, got in my nose y'all. Add some more buttermilk. Now you can add water if you want. You don't have to add milk if you don't uh, want any milk in there. You can add water. So we'll stir this up just like this. Blend it real good. We want it kind of thick. Add some more buttermilk. And make sure that it's smooth the way we want it. I love the way buttermilk smells on bread. I mean on flour, y'all. It smells so good. Add some more buttermilk. We want to kind of smooth like that. And you know what? I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper to mine. And a little bit more cayenne pepper. Yes, yeah, a little bit more <laughs> pepper to mine. You know, y'all think I'm a pepper girl. I'm a pepper girl. Okay, we got this all blended up. Now something about that corn, that about that uh, fish fry makes this really good, y'all. Got that cornmeal in there. And that's how we want it, just like that. You see that? Just like that. We want it just like that, okay? So we got this all ready. Now in this bowl, we're gonna put some breadcrumbs because we want them crunchy. So we're gonna add some breadcrumbs in this like this. You can use any breadcrumbs you like. I got the Italian breadcrumbs. Just like that. So what I'm going to do, make sure this is good enough. I'm going to add one of those 
onion rings in there like that. Get it coated. Just like that. And then we're going to put them in the cornmeal. I mean in the uh, And the breadcrumbs. I'm going to set them to the side. Make sure they all in there like that. Put this to the side. We'll do another one. Okay. Some cornmeal. I'm going to put a little bit more um, breadcrumbs in there. I'm fluff it up just like that. Let them sit. Now you can put these in a the freezer when you get through, and then you can just freeze them and use them as you get ready. That's what the grocery store do. The grocery store do that. How you think they have them in a the freezer bag? They do the same thing we're doing. Okay, put this in like that. I don't want my hands dirty, but you got to. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm not in the camera. Put them in the breadcrumbs. We'll do another one, just like this. These are the homemade, delicious, delicious, crunchy onion rings, okay? I'll do a little bit, another one. That's a big one, y'all. Do it like that. Okay, let's got two together. Sometimes they get two together. Yes, they do. Then we're going to put them in the breadcrumbs. And we're going to lay them in the pan like this show you how that look just like that lay them in the pan just like that y'all and they're gonna take that long and we'll be right back all right i got the first batch out and they are crispy and look at that they are crispy homemade onion rings they are delicious, y'all. I um, got the rest of them fried. Look at that. They're fried. And we're going to take them out and let you see how the end results are. So I got these ready to go in to the fryer when they'll get ready. Now you can deep fry them if you want. They would be fantastic. But I just like to do shallow frying. I don't know why, but I just like shallow frying. Now I have a deep fryer, but it have, I have to take it out. Put so much oil in it and I have to throw away oil because the oil would sit there and it would turn, you know, and I just have to throw it away. So I just like shallow frying. Be right back with the end results. All right, here's the finished results of my onion rings. They are golden brown and they're crispy and delicious. It's one ingredient I forgot to tell you what to put in them and the ingredient is cornstarch. Yes, the same amount of flour that you use, you use the same amount of cornstarch. And I forgot, totally forgot to tell you to put cornstarch in there because the cornstarch help, the cornstarch help to heave to the onion. But I didn't use any cornstarch in this, but they are still delicious. They're spicy, delicious, and they are fabulous. These uh, onion rings are dedicated to you who love onions, and I love onions to death. I love them. So this is the finished product. So remember to put, if you put a cup of flour, put a cup of cornstarch. And then you can put the two or three tablespoons full of the Louisiana uh, corn fish mix. And we'll have to do that. Then you don't have to put it in the sauce because you're using separate flour. And use your buttermilk. And I'll show you how to do it. This is Sandy. I want to tell you happy eating. And forgot to tell you to put the cornstarch in there. But they look, they turn out good. But see, they won't have that right there. This is what I don't want this to do have that come off like that. Other than that, they're okay. This is Sandy. I want to tell you have eaten and thank you for coming to my channel. Ain't these corn, ain't these uh, onion rings look magnificent? And they are good too, y'all. Ooh, they're so good. This is Sandy. I want to tell you have eaten and thank you for coming to my channel. All right. I'm sitting up here enjoying these onion rings that I just fried. And I feel so bad because I ate the whole bowl. But I want you to listen how crunchy they are. They are crunchy because I put that breadcrumbs on, and the breadcrumbs make them crunchy. 
they are delicious. Not, not spicy enough for me, but they are good. I'm up here looking at mad fan, mad fan video. That's his video right there. I'm watching his video, and this is the latest video he put out. Oh, June the fifteenth, twenty nineteen. So I want to dedicate this these onion rings to mad fan. I'm up here eating onion rings. Crunchy. This is onion ring. And watching his video. This is Sandy. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel.